Hello. I probably need to figure out like a better something. Cause like what angle is this? I don't even know. It's the angle of blah. Okay. Let's try this again as per yesterday. Okay. I don't know. Mom, I missed that. I'm trying to, I need a better blob angle. I need a better angle than blob because that's what angle this is. Hello, love. Hey, you guys. It is 11 here and I'm just getting back from my walk. I'm not going to lie. It kicked my butt today. Like I laid in bed to like 945 and was like, I woke up at like eight ish, I think, and I like laid in bed till like nine forty five, working. I was talking to a couple of people. Everybody is wanting to join me, and it's making me so happy. So we have an accountability group that we're just kind of like all like getting like in together, just to kind of like keep each other motivated. But I also want to like be on Snapchat with you. So if you have not found me on Snapchat, you should. Um, it's Skinny Rap Babes, I think. I'm pretty sure something like that. So. So it's not too hard to find the one and only pink hair mermaid. No big deal. Um, but you guys, like, seriously, I did not want to go on my walk. I was, like, super so tired. It was just, like, being lazy. And I was like, I don't want to go. Well, then I get on Chris's Snapchat, and he's got, like, 20,000 steps from yesterday. I barely made it to 9,000, okay? And I walked, like, a poop ton is what I feel like. Anyway, and so I really, I like, I was like, all right, I'm getting up. I'm going to go on my walk. Dang it. So I went. I'm down another pound today. So that's three pounds in three days. I'm so excited because um, I know he's going to be coming back and be looking like a sexy lumberjack. And I'm going to be the blob over here. The blob angle. Whatever angle this is, it's the blob. Um, I took my just celery this morning. I feel amazing. Um, I took my fat burning tablet. Um, and then I'm making my natural mama's milk. And now I've been doing the just celery because right now I literally only have one little thing of my, um, chocolate greens left. <laughs> Y'all the chocolate greens are life. They're everything. I call them our mocha detox because I add them into my coffee. So it's a chocolate coffee, two of my favorite things. Hello. And, um, and then I add the whatever coffee I want, but I lost my train of thought. Good Lord. So that's why I've been doing celery in the morning, just to kind of cleanse everything, keep things going, get my greens, some kind of greens, you know what I'm saying? Um, but no, why I wanted to come on today was not because I don't want Chris to be like shredded, ripped. I do want Chris to be that way. Oh my God, he already is. Let's be real. But I got to be looking good too. So I'm trying to like mm, do all the things. So three pounds, three days. I'm using three products right now because I'm out of greens. I'm doing the just celery in the morning. Um, but the actual challenge is for the, the coffee, the chocolate, um, mocha detox is what I call it, and the tap, fat burning tablets, which have proven ingredients to help you lose 30 pounds in 90 days on average. It's insane. But the real reason I'm coming on is because I am so freaking blessed by this job that I have, you guys, um, by the business that I have. It has truly blessed me. I was just thinking about last night how it's not only provided for my life for the past eight years full time um, for me to live and, and do and travel and go. And I went to Barcelona last fall, Jordan, um, I, I've all over the U.S., you guys. I, I've been wherever I wanted to go all the time. And, um, you know, I'm so blessed by that. It's, it's given me the most amazing friends that, you know, as you saw in my post last night, are more like family. Um, they have my back. They were there for me after I lost my daughter. I mean, amazing, amazing people and women um, in my life through this through this job that I have. But you guys, this job gave me this life that I'm living. You know, it, it introduced me to Chris, and literally, I am so incredibly blessed by him. Like, I'm so lucky, like to have found someone who just truly gets me and is so kind and sweet and generous and wonderful. But anyway, this is not about him. Um, it's just given me this life, you guys. It's like provided this amazing life, and we're so blessed, and and we just have such a nice place, and and you know, I was able to just like pick up on a whim and just drive myself 16 which was like 17 hours to Colorado and like pack up and move here and live here and get to live my best life you guys like I was just walking and like looking at the mountains like 
you can walk out of Walmart, you guys, and see beautiful mountains. Like, it, it's like there's no place that's not just absolutely, incredibly, ridiculously beautiful and gorgeous and wonderful. And so, anyway, I'm not trying to go on, like, all these rants this morning, but I just truly, after going to the worship night last night and just thinking about how God makes all things new, you know, and and... I really kind of wanted it to be about this this morning because my friend Joy, my sweet, amazing friend Joy was like, you know, you really encouraged me to follow my heart more. And I'm just like, I'm so proud of you. And you've really encouraged me to follow my heart more. And I'm just really excited about it in 2020. And I was like, oh my gosh, girl, that is so amazing. Like, that is exactly what I want. Like, that's why I come on here and share stuff and, and in hopes of, you know, just encouraging others to do the same. And inspiring people and encouraging people to just live their best life do what's true for you and and don't worry about what everybody else thinks because I truly do have a gift of not giving a poop about what anybody thinks about me now that doesn't mean that I'm disrespectful or I don't value others opinions I do I'm an asshole I'm gonna ask your opinion before I don't do it okay you know what I'm saying But, you know, I I just truly think it's important to not, you cannot let other people dictate your life. And, and I, I come on and share my story for that very reason. I want others to see that I'm authentically me all the time and encourage you to do the same and be the same. And so I've just been blessed that I've been able to do that through this job, you know, this, through this company that, you know, basically I'm my own CEO and I'm able to work this however I want, whenever I want, and have provided, you know, me this amazing life, you know, us, like I'm, I'm again, you know, just so blessed. And so I love coming on and sharing that with you guys because I know what it feels like to not be in this boat, you know, like I know what it feels like to be in the valley and be thinking I'm never going to be happy again. I'm never going to care about anything ever again. And to to go from that low and not even like wanting to be here, you guys, to go from that low to where I'm here at now, like so happy and so just so many amazing blessings in my life. And I was leaving worship service and they're like saying, you know, God's made all things new. And, and my friend, you know, was like, I'm going to follow my heart more. And that's exactly what we have to do, you guys, because God seeds that into you. He sows that into your soul, your mind, you know, everything. He seeds that into you because it is a part of your destiny. It is a part of your calling. It is a part of your purpose, your plan, your passion, your everything. And so for me, it's been, I've been able to obtain it through this business, through this job, a job has given me this dream life. A job has given me this dream man. A, a job has given me this dream health, my, this body. Like, y'all, I, I complain about my body and like I want my butt to be bigger and like my stomach to be flatter and like genuinely everything to be upper. But, you know, honestly, I, I'm so much healthier than I ever was. And so right now, I've lost three pounds in three days with three products. We're starting this package. It's incredible, you guys. We've been able to give back so many meals. My friend messaged me this morning. Carly, shout out to my girl. She's already given um, like 24 or 36 meals. It's insane. It's amazing. Um, Yes, Carissa, I'm trying to be like you. (laughs) Oh my gosh, I miss you so much. Hi, Sam. Hey, Chantel. Hey, everybody. I don't know. I'm getting notifications late or maybe I'm not paying attention. Um, Hi, Lauren. Hello, you guys. I just, I want to get off because I don't want to make this too long. I just wanted to come on and encourage somebody today, you know, to live your authentically you. God gave you, made you this you perfectly in your, in your mother's womb. You were perfectly made, you know, and, and not only that, literally the dreams, the, the feelings, the thoughts that you have, the passions that you have, the things that are in your heart, in your head, those are part of your calling and your destiny. And you've got to pursue that. You've got to follow that. And don't worry about what anybody else thinks. You know, they're not going to come pay your bills. When I lost my, my daughter, no one came over and paid my bills for me because we got behind because we, you know, it was hard for us to get back to our lives. You know, it, it just doesn't happen that way. So you can't care. You got to do you. You got to worry about you and, and worry about your inside. Of course, it's got to honor God and, and glorify God. But, you know, you want to do what's right for you and your family. And for me, it's been this job. 
It's been this business. It has been absolutely incredible. And it is a slower time in the fall and, I mean, in the uh, winter. Um, but you guys, we prepare and we plan for that. And our boom season is right now when people have New Year's resolutions. And it's so much fun to partner with my friends and like some of my followers on here and, you know, lose weight together. And for a great cause, we're giving back. For every pound you lose, I'm donating four pounds, I mean, four meals to feed my starving children, to help feed hungry children um, overseas. And I'm so excited about that. I'm so proud to be a part of a company like that. Oh my gosh, Noelle. Yes, I know. I'm rainbow everywhere right now, you guys. But truly, I am so blessed. And so I wanted to come on and ask you, thank you for staying on if you still are. Should I do a podcast? I want to share more about my life, Chris and I's story, how we met, some of the crazy things that have happened um, to, that led us to this like road and this path and this purpose and plan and God is just so good and so I, I would love to share more about this business I've been doing this for nine years you guys I've learned so incredibly much um, I'd love to share my business tips and how we you know took this thing from nothing to the top and have been able to have so much success and make so many you know amazing friends and family members um, and just kind of talk about too like some of my struggles some of the things I've been through my past um, honestly, I, I really and truly want to write a book about it just because I, I just, the past that Chris has is crazy. The past that I have is, is pretty crazy. Some of the things, the hurts, the hards, the valleys that we've had to go through, it's really incredible. And I want to share our stories because I want to encourage and, and offer hope. Um, cause one thing our pastor said, or we sang about last night at worship was, um, that, you know, even even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, you're giving me hope. Like, even though I'm, I've got ashes, I've got hope. You know, it's like he doesn't just give us hope when we've got our rainbow life. He's, he gave me hope when I was in my ashes, y'all. He gave, he still implanted hope inside my heart when I was a day out from losing my daughter. Ten days out. You know, a month, a year, three years, here I am, three years later, and I've still got hope, you know? So he doesn't just give you hope in your rainbow life. He gives you hope in the hard, in the valley. He can't. You just got to trust him. You've got to learn to, you know, understand that he's got a plan, a purpose. And sometimes he walks you through those hards, through those valleys, for the privilege of who you will be on the other side. So I don't want to keep preaching, but I just was so blessed last night just thinking about all this. Should I do a podcast? I haven't ever done one. I'm nervous. Who's going to listen to me? Who am I? I'm not qualified, but I feel called to do it. And I just wanted to kind of come on and kind of accountability again. I'm posting my stomach every day, even though I hate it for accountability so I thought maybe I can come on here and you guys would hold me accountable and be like where's your podcast because I really do feel like it's on my heart and I'm called to do that just to share and maybe reach more people and more you know um hearts and heads and souls so I don't know um hopefully that helps you guys I hope you're having a wonderful week I can't believe it's Thursday Chris is gonna be back soon I'm so excited I can't be waiting for him to be like where's Lauren is she here I just see floating pink hair because I'm gonna be invisible <laughs> um but I'm gonna be doing all the things today and trying to finish decorating um I'm trying to find some cool like fishing and hunting stuff for Chris so I don't know we'll see but I love you guys so much thank you for always loving me and supporting me as the crazy hot mermaid mess I am um I think I'm gonna call my podcast that like mermaid hot mess or something like that I don't know hot mermaid mess um anyway I love you I've got to make this like I still haven't even stirred my coffee what am I doing with my life I'm just so excited and I'm just feeling so blessed and grateful and thankful for all the many things that this job that I have, this business that I have has provided such an incredible life for me for not only the rainbow parts, but the hard parts too, because it made me who I am today. And I'm very, very thankful for that. So if you're looking for something like that too, I got you. <laughs> I love you guys. Mwah, mwah. Happy Thursday. If you are watching the replay, let me know. Um, if you're watching live, let me know too. I love you, booze. Bye.